All right, so I'm starting to tear apart the block, and I think I figured out where my leak came from. You see those those lines? One, two, three, four. All right, and then there's a couple of lines right there. You can see that one right there. Those are cracks, and that is what's causing my leak. Either they were tightened down too hard, the heat pressure, something caused it to crack. And what happens is, is when I squeeze that valve down in there, it opens those cracks up and it causes the leakage that we seen around the corner here. So that's what that is. welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to show y'all how to easily and effectively clean a radiator now you see all that stuff down inside of there that's corrosion built up gunk from the from the materials that you use the water that you're running through the reservoir um, one of my main suggestions to everybody is don't run color fluid in your system just run regular water with a little bit of biocide in it the reason being is when you add that color, the heat gets into that color and it actually starts to break it down and it will gum up your reservoirs and your blocks. It will turn them that nice, ugly, pinkish, ugly color. Gum the whole thing up. So no additives, all right? Just run straight water and you will not have such a problem. But all you really need is peroxide. Take the peroxide, put it straight in there, let some of it work its way to the back, fill up the other side, and just kind of hold it, let it work its way through. And just keep filling it, do both sides. All right. I can feel this actually going through the rad right now because it's getting colder as it goes down. But you want to just keep filling it. Give it a good little shake. Get it down inside there. There we go. Alright, there we go. And then what you'll see almost immediately. Here, let's let it focus. the peroxide will start turning white. See that white head on top of it there? That's all the crap that's in there. It will eat it away. And then what you do is you leave it like this for a couple of hours, a couple of days, however long you wish, um, and it will take care of it. Let's see here. See the whiteness on top? That's all that crap in there. That peroxide's eating it away. And you may have to rinse and repeat this process a few times. So use Dawn dish soap, warm water, wash it, and then use peroxide and hot water to rinse it out and just keep rinse and repeat. All right, so I got my bubble bath set up and I went ahead and took apart the flow meter. So we'll just throw that in there. I have the reservoir throw that in there and then I was going to take apart the block but since I found those cracks this block is now garbage so I'm gonna to have to buy a new block that was about 80 bucks and go from there this right here I don't know keep it for parts or something and then also here's our radiator can y'all let me see here maybe if I turn on the light Oh, let me get that water out of there. Uh, but let's see here. There you go. You see that stuff in there? That buildup? That would be a hundred times worse if you ran a coolant or a colored, like a, a dye style fluid. 
something I talked about in my previous video. But, yep, that's going to have to soak too. And then what we did, is you take the coffee filter out and you get your hot water. And that hot water is going to go in this reservoir. And hopefully it will knock loose some some of that crap that's in there. Let me get down in there. Oh, I can feel the heat. Oh man, I can feel the heat in here. I mean, you can you can see the steam. Can you Can you see the steam coming out of it? No, probably not. Pour a little more in there. Let it get down inside of that radiator. Cause I can really feel that heat. That, that hot water is going through all them pipes and I can feel it. Alright, so we're just going to kind of slush it around. Get all that crap out of there. But alright, I'm going to sit here and scrub them. And then I'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick it back up once I get done cleaning all of this. So this radiator is almost not of any use to me. I didn't realize how much corrosion was in there. So what you do, take peroxide, put it in it, let it soak. Look at that. See all that? It's getting all that crap out of there for me. Which, it may take it a while to break that loose. But if I can't get that crap to break loose, We'll have to replace this uh, $65 radiator for a new one. We're already replacing an $85 block. So, yep. All right, let's go back in the room and work on the PC, converting it back to air. Yeah, this is after about 15 minutes. And you can see all that white foam that's building on top. That stuff. That's all that crap that's in there. So it's just it's just a time thing. Nothing quick about it, but it will get it done. And if the block's been in your system, or the the reservoir's been in your system, I'd say for six, seven months, just replace it when it comes time to redo it or put it in a new build. But and you can really see them, they're whitey, they're foaming up real good getting all that crap out of there for me. Leave a like on this video. Turn the hand blue. Helps the algorithm and my channel. Make sure to subscribe too.